नमस्ते एवरी वन हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बायो मोलिक्यूल्स इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द अबाउट द कार्बोहाइड्रेट अबाउट द प्रोटीन्स ओके वी हैव डिस्कस इवन वी हैव सीन वट टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड इज एक्वायर्ड बाय दीज बायो मोलिक्यूल्स as well as the difference between each uh, biomolecules it may be protein or uh, it may be your carbohydrate and even we have seen what you mean by nucleic acid and what type of a structure uh, it is uh, having as well as uh, we have seen uh, the different types of nucleic acid so today in this class we are going to talk about we are going to talk about the metabolism or the metabolic process okay dear students you must know before going to talk about the metabolism or metabolic process these are all the set of reaction which is happening in our body metabolism is nothing but a set of all the reaction is happening in our body okay for our convenience we have taken these you know uh, reactions and divided it into catabolism anabolism etc i am going to come there okay the yes bio molecules bio molecules bio molecules bio molecules okay so the metabolism metabolism is nothing but all the set of reaction is happening in our body and we have classified this metabolism as to catabolism as well as anabolism yes catabolism catabolism as well as anabolism catabolism as well as anabolism as the name says catabolism nothing but which resembling with breaking down catabolism breaking down anabolism means we are aggregating something you know producing a new from the bits and pieces that is anabolism okay what is a more technical sentence we can use here catabolism is a reaction in which okay a simpler molecule is synthesized from the complex anabolism is a process in which complex molecule is synthesized okay from the simple one simple molecule is aggregated and you will be obtaining a molecule you will be obtaining a substance which is a complex one okay that is anabolism and catabolism okay let us uh, uh, let us see what is catabolic pathways what is anabolic pathways okay catabolic pathways means a series of reaction in which you are going to you know you are going to get a simpler molecule from the complex anabolic pathway is nothing but it is a series or the se sequence or the series of process or the pathways of a process in which you will be synthesizing a complex molecule from the simple one that is the difference okay so let us find out what is anabolic pathways anabolic pathway pathway and catabolic pathway and catabolic pathway anabolic pathway as well as catabolic pathway let us see this what is anabolic pathway what is a catabolic pathway dear students you must know the basic difference between anabolic pathway as well as catabolic pathway is in anabolic pathway anabolic pathway okay simple simple substance substance converted converted into complex one complex one or you are synthesizing a complex molecule from the simple substance what about the catabolic pathway here here again here again the same 
In the case of catabolic pathway, the complex molecules or the complex substance substance are broken down broken down into into simple simple substance simple substance this is the difference in the case of anabolic pathway you are synthesizing a complex molecule from the simple in the case of catabolic pathway you are breaking down the complex molecule complex substance into a simple one that is the difference okay that is the difference what is the second point here in the case of a anabolic pathway you are taking a simple molecule simple substance from here and there you are collecting a bits and pieces and collecting and you are converting it as a a huge molecule a huge substance which is a energy consuming energy energy consuming process consuming process okay you are taking a simple you are uh, you know say you taking a simple simple molecule from here and there and collecting it and you are going to synthesize that you are going to synthesize a complex one which is a bigger one a larger one so this is a uh, energy required process okay it requires energy energy consuming process what about the catabolic pathway catabolic pathway it is a breaking uh, of a, a complex molecule into a simple one here it release energy energy is released energy is released energy is released that is a major difference so if you want to ask me the examples for anabolic pathway constructive process okay constructive process where the acetic acid example acetic acid acetic acid which give rise to cholesterol cholesterol acetic acid will be giving rise to cholesterol is the best example i can give for anabolic pathway what about catabolic pathway in the case of catabolic pathway the best example example under catabolic pathway is the production of lactic acid production of lactic acid from the glucose production production of lactic acid lactic acid production of lactic acid production of lactic acid from from the glucose from glucose from glucose production of lactic acid from the glucose this is a major difference okay this is a major difference fine in our human body whenever we require energy okay the complex molecule is undergoing a process of breaking down okay so that we will be obtaining the energy because the the reaction which is happening that will release the energy that release of energy will be uh, utilized by the body okay so as you know the the something called as atp right atp adenosine triphosphate atp is nothing but adenosine adenosine triphosphate which is a which is a energy currency in our body energy currency in our body in our body so body will be storing uh, whatever the required energy components in our body and when the time comes when the need comes the stored material will be undergoing a process of catabolism and it will release the energy that re release of energy will be uh, you know utilized by the body that is a that is about your uh, uh, these the anabolic pathway as well as 
catabolic pathway. In the case of emergency, the stored food material, the stored uh, you know, chemicals, the stored energy in the form of chemicals will be utilized by the body and uh, it will convert it as a very simpler one, nothing but the catabolism is happening. Because of the catabolism, the release of energy will take place, those energy will be utilized by the body to escape from the emergency. That is the story. ATP is an energy currency which is uh, uh, in our body, okay, adenosine triphosphate, whatever energy, energy we term, you know, okay, that energy is nothing but the, in the form of ATP, energy will be in the form of ATP, okay, that is the case. So, let us see what you mean by living state, living state, living state, our system, body system, okay, always prevent us to not to follow atava not to fall in equilibrium state okay because all the time the metabolism is happening metabolism is happening because of metabolism we are so strong we are so you know uh, we are uh, active every time because of the metabolism so that so that because of these activity our body never go off from the work never go off from the work it will never allow us to uh, you know fall into the equilibrium because of uh, our uh, very higher active state because of the presence of uh, metabolism that is why our body never attain an equilibrium so that is known to be the living state living state is nothing but the the state where the body is having a metab metabolism state of the body where you can find out the metabolic process okay that that is termed as a living state living state is a state state of of activity state of activity or the state where you can find out the metabolic process metabolic process because of that our system is a never allow us to fall into the equilibrium state we are always will be in a non equilibrium state that is about your living state that is what you mean by the living state let us uh, uh, continue our session with something called as an enzyme okay enzyme what is enzyme okay what is the requirement of enzyme enzyme okay enzyme we'll see what is enzyme enzyme what do you mean by enzyme as you know the enzyme is known to be the biocatalyst which accelerate the rate of reaction fine the same uh, definition you can uh, you know uh, you, you will be studying in chemistry also yes the enzyme is a biocatalyst it is a chemical of course enzyme is a biocatalyst which will increase the rate of reaction okay enzyme is a bio catalyst catalyst which will which will which will increase increase the rate of reaction which will increase the rate of reaction which will increase the rate of reaction enzyme is a chemical enzyme is a chemical is a chemical as we know our living state is completely filled with the metabolism nothing but the reaction is happening for those reaction, the chemical is necessary to accelerate the reaction. We require another chemical, nothing but the enzyme. Okay, it is a biocatalyst in which increase the rate of reaction, which will increase or increase the speed of the reaction. Okay, so that in particular small time interval, you will be finished up with the reaction. That is about the enzyme. Enzyme is a biocatalyst which will increase the rate of reaction so uh, dear students this uh, enzyme whatever i am uh, uh, here uh, defining okay 
enzyme, whatever I am uh, defining here, which is very specific. The enzyme is a specific enzyme is a very specific specific enzyme is very specific okay enzyme is very specific to the substrate to the substrate substrate okay enzyme is very specific to uh, substrate a certain enzyme will be having a reaction with only particular substrate okay it never go off with the other substrate a particular substrate will be having a particular enzyme to carry out the reaction the particular enzyme uh, will be available for the particular substrate to carry out the reaction so the enzyme is very specific to the substrate for the particular substrate only this enzyme will act off okay it never go off with the other substrate that is this statement and the enzyme enzyme yes all the enzyme sorry all all the enzyme all the enzymes all the enzymes are protein all the enzymes are protein but but what but not all the proteins are enzyme but not all the proteins are enzyme here the enzyme all the enzyme in our nature is a protein is a protein but but not all the proteins are enzyme means what the enzyme or the chemical whatever we are referring that is made up of amino acids that is made up of amino acid when you have a huge polymer with the uh, which uh, which is made up of amino acid monomer of amino acid of course it is a protein right so the enzyme is made up of amino acid so the enzymes are known to be the protein but what about the, all the protein say we have we have 100 proteins here okay in 100 proteins you can find out only 30 to 40 percent of enzymes the left behind 60 to 70 percent are protein only they does not you know increase the rate of reaction they they does not involving in a reaction to increase the rate never okay that is the case biomole in in uh, in the case of enzyme enzymes are all the enzymes are protein but not all the proteins are enzyme yes let us see something called as ribozymes ribozymes what is ribozymes ribozymes let us see Okay, ribozymes. Ribozymes. What is ribozymes? Some nucleic acids, some nucleic acid acids acts as act as act as enzyme. There are some nucleic acid in the nature which act as enzyme that is called as ribozymes. See, we have RNA. If this RNA acts as, if the RNA acts as enzyme, which is known to be the ribozyme, which is known to be the ribozyme, which is known to be the ribozyme. RNA act as enzyme, known to be the ribozyme. However, you know RNA is a ribonucleic acid. Yes, this RNA acts as a enzyme okay in a living body in a living body known to be the known to be the ribozymes okay let us have an example how this enzyme will increase the rate of reaction what if the case we don't have a enzyme what if the case if you have the presence of the enzyme in a same reaction what may be the difference we'll see that okay what is the reaction dear students you must know here let us have a reaction okay when carbon dioxide is uh, uh, reacting with the water you can find out the presence of uh, h2co3 okay not well balanced here h2co3 nothing but the bicarbonic acid for the uh, conversion of this for or the for the preparation of this uh, actually, the enzymes, whatever we have studied here, 
we don't require the enzyme it is a simple reaction to carry out the reaction we don't require the enzyme okay if the reaction is uh, keep on happening okay the yield will be the proportionate yield will be like this okay almost per hour you can find out the presence of uh, nearly 200 molecules of h2co3 okay if you don't have any enzyme this reaction is happening in a living state you can find out the presence of a 200 molecules per hour which molecule this one h2co3 okay what if i have a i have an enzyme to catalyze this reaction say i have an enzyme called uh, carbonic anhydrase carbonic anhydrase carbonic anhydrase carbonic anhydrase if i have the enzyme this enzyme carbonic anhydrase okay if i have the presence of this enzyme to catalyze catalyze this reaction okay per second i'm talking about per second this is without enzyme without enzyme without enzyme with the enzyme if the if i have the presence of enzyme the same reaction nearly what is this 6 lakhs yes 6 lakhs molecules of h2co3 will be formed per second per second look at this huge difference okay this shows that this shows that the enzyme which can increase increase the rate increase the rate of the reaction which will increase the rate of reaction which will increase the rate of reaction uh, you cannot come to a conclusion that for a particular reaction only one enzyme is uh, enough no not at all okay there are some uh, reactions in our body okay especially the glycolysis respiration okay for that okay let us have that glycolysis the number of enzymes 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 okay number of enzymes say i have a reaction which is called as a glycolysis which is known to be the glycolysis where the glucose in our body glucose is converted as a to pyruvic acid pyruvic converted as to pyruvic acid the glucose is converted into to pyruvic acid to fulfill this reaction okay nearly we have uh, require we require nearly 10 enzymes to complete this reaction we require nearly 10 enzymes nothing but the glycolysis process okay if the glycolysis process should happen in our body we require 10 enzymes just to convert glucose to to pyruvic acid okay so a particular reaction if you mean if we need to have a particular reaction okay then you cannot uh, restrict uh, enzyme as one two okay okay based on the requirement of a reaction okay the enzyme will a uh, leader role enzyme will lead a role for uh, glycolysis we require 10 enzyme to complete a reaction okay this is about uh, enzyme the introduction of uh, enzymes fine let us see nature of uh, enzyme action nature of 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 enzyme action okay 
See, I have told you, my dear students, enzyme is so specific, right? So specific to the substrate. Enzyme is so specific to the substrate. A particular substrate will be having a particular enzyme. Okay. When I have an enzyme, if I have an enzyme, enzyme, enzyme will be having a catalytic site. Enzyme will be having catalytic site. Catalytic site. What do you mean by catalytic site? Catalytic site. Yes, catalytic site. Catalytic site is a place where substrate is going to bind. Okay. The catalytic site is a place of the enzyme where the substrate is going to bind. Okay. Because of the binding only, we can have a reaction. Yes. So, enzyme will be having a catalytic site. To the catalytic site, always, always, the substrate is going to bind. Substrate is going to bind. Substrate is going to bind. When the substrate is going to bind to the catalytic site of an enzyme, the reaction is happening and the substrate will be converted as a product. This is the reaction principle. But how the enzyme will act? How the catalytic site will be, uh, you know, converting uh, your substrate into a uh, product? We can have the discussion of that. As you know, dear students, the, of course, the enzyme will be having catalytic site where the substrate is going to bind. See, this is an enzyme. Okay, enzyme. When enzyme is having catalytic site, the substrate is going to bind there. To the catalytic site, the substrate is going to bind. When the substrate is going to bind to the catalytic site of an enzyme, a complex will be formed as this enzyme substrate complex. Enzyme substrate enzyme substrate complex enzyme substrate complex when the enzyme substrate complex is formed in our body the substrate is slowly converted as a product enzyme into product now okay as a later part enzyme the product will be slowly detached from the enzyme the enzyme will be restored enzyme will be restored by leaving by leaving product here this is product by leaving product here yes this is the reaction enzyme substrate complex enzyme to the product this is the enzyme this is the product the enzyme will be restored back to the previous position this is happening let us uh, see in uh, lock and key lock and key method lock and key method lock and key method refers to a particular key can only open a lock right for the same principle okay the enzyme and the substrate is so specific that okay particular enzyme or the particular substance they can only lead to the reaction what they meant see if uh, look at this this is a uh, enzyme if this is enzyme enzyme if uh, this is a uh, enzyme where i have a this is a substrate enzyme substrate enzyme as well as substrate yes this is going to form the next one called as enzyme substrate complex look at this enzyme substrate complex enzyme substrate complex to the particular catalyst site of an enzyme, the substrate is going to bind and here you can have the same diagram, okay? Same diagram. 
same diagram. Okay. This is the enzyme, this is a substrate, and this is known to be the enzyme substrate complex. Enzyme substrate complex. Okay. This enzyme substrate complex, when it will be forming, okay, there will be a series of reaction taking place, okay, leading to leading to like this. Like this. See here I have the same diagram, okay. The same diagram. Look at this the same diagram okay it is slowly going to form the products slowly going to form the product this is the product now okay and as a result after a completion of a reaction the substrate is sorry the enzyme is restored and giving rise to two products this is the products this is a product, okay? Don't see this. This is enzyme, this is substrate, enzyme substrate complex. The reaction is happening, see? You can find out the two pieces of this. And this is enzyme, this is a product. This is enzyme as well as this is the product. Look at this. Yes, this is known to be the lock and key model, enzyme substrate reaction, which is going to uh, discuss about, which is going to discuss uh, the, the enzyme action on the substrate by the lock and key method, okay. Particular substrate, particular uh, enzyme, only they can accelerate the reaction, only they can have a reaction, that is what this is the, this much refers to so dear students uh, i think this much is enough for you today we have discussed what is enzyme what is met metabolic pathway anabolic part pathway catabolic pathway and we have seen what is the, what is the nature of the enzyme and what are the characters of enzyme how the enzyme and uh, these uh, substrate will uh, uh, lead to a reaction how the substrate is converted as a product and how the enzyme is restored all these are we have seen today okay so let us wind up the class uh, thank you so much for your patient listening stay at home stay safe take care read well and uh, have a great day thank you